It's the most amount of changes in over two decades in Formula One. Traditionally, aerodynamics has been the key player. And the power unit is now going to play a significant part. So the whole thing has to work well together to produce the perfect lap. OK, Jensen, yellow G1. Confirm, yellow G1. You get away. Up through the gear, this is amazing. It's third and fourth gear. And the thing's still wheel spinning. Mission control is working real time. So we have all the data coming back from the circuit in real time. Pulling the data out from the car is extremely important. Where and why we go testing is to try and uh, make the gap between reality and our simulation smaller. So there are eight years this year, not seven. Turn eight in Bahrain, you would use second normally. We're using third, sometimes fourth. High speed, there's a lot less grip in the cars this year because of what they've done to the downforce. The great thing about this car so far, I've, I've found, is that the low speed are actually stronger than 2013. The braking system is uh, very different than last year. It's just hydraulic front brakes. The rear is controlled by uh, the power unit, so it decides what is best to, to slow the car down, whether it's the ERS unit, the engine braking, or using the brake discs and pads themselves. With these cars, everyone has got to go through a new learning process. I think the racing is going to be super intense. The most important thing from the circuit is to take that data so you can correlate and validate your models. The 2014 rule changes will help a driver that is willing to put the hours in so it's really understanding it and trying to take as much out of it as possible. The power unit, the braking system, it's all stuff that we can really use to our advantage.